Okay. Hello and welcome. Wait, you're doing the intro? No, because it sounds awful <laughs> when I do it. Are you sure? Yeah. You sure you don't want to do the intro? Hey guys, Aaron and Brian here from Five to Go. <laughs> she did the intro. It's going to be the best video ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, as she said, we are from Five to Go, and uh, today we are doing another Timu video. But this mm. one is inspired by feedback that oh, we got the <laughs> from the last video. Um, so there were a lot of comments about like, how long does it take to get stuff? Is that stuff any good? Like, mm -hmm. is it, do you have to send everything back? What is the return process like? Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, we've heard some kind of horror stories. I don't know if it's hearsay or accurate or whatever about like people having trouble getting their money back or like having issues with cards being stolen. Uh, so we have comments about all of that coming up. Right. But first, we have this enormous box that you see here. Um, I don't remember what we ordered because it takes about two to three weeks to get stuff from Timu. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the mailbox that we use here in Central Florida, they have issues. Like whatever courier gets these packages, it's not a normal one. Yeah. And they deliver it to the bakery across the street. And then the bakery is like not open over the weekend. And like it just takes time. Yeah. <laughs> to get packages from this courier. I don't know why. I don't blame Timu for that. It's whatever weird local guy is being used. So anyway, it took about a month for us to get this package. So point number one for Timu that some of the questions were in the last video is if I order stuff from them, how long does it take? Because our viewers are moving around. So you don't know where you're where gonna you be able to stuff, yeah. yeah, where you're gonna be able to get a package in three weeks or four weeks or whatever. Right. There are some companies out there. Uh, one that sticks out in my head is Magna Shade. We have Magna Shades at the front of this rig. When you order a Magna Shade, because they have like a six to eight week Nine. backlog, yeah. um, you do the order and you tell them everything you want. And then when it's done being produced, they say, okay, it's ready for shipping. Where do you want to send it? Because they know that our beers move around. Yes. So that's not something that this company could do because we are not their primary demographic. No. But there are companies out there that do it. Um, and it's a really good thing. So anyway, I want to open it. Open it. Go. Okay. Start I have it. no idea what's in here. You ordered all of this without my knowledge. Yeah. So it's not just RV stuff. There's a couple. There's nothing RV specific in here. I don't think there might be one or two things. Uh, there's some Jeep stuff in here because a Did lot of us, a lot of us do have Jeeps. Uh, there's no clothing in here. Okay. Um, we'll see um, in a future video. Okay. We'll start getting stuff Alrighty. out of the way. It's a uh, collapsible bucket. This is basically for the kids, right? Because the kids love playing with... Yeah, go ahead and cut that open. The kids love playing with water <clears throat> and the soil yeah. and sand <laughs> and all things messy. Create, create a pile over here. Uh, yeah, so collapsible bucket. And it's basically, you know, because buckets take up a lot of space. So this one pops okay. open. And I think it was like a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it works. It's just a couple of silicone spots. And did you, it's a small bucket. Did you get two? Okay, that's the problem. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> collapsible bucket. Super cheap. I'm going to put the prices for all this stuff down yep. here as we open it because I don't have a list in front of me. Because I didn't want to relook at the list. I wanted to just be like, oh, I ordered that. What is this? Uh, no, oh, so this things. is RV specific. These are little brass elbows for uh, water inlets and mm. outlets. So brass elbows are really, really handy to have um, more on uh, RV water stuff specifically in the next video. This is a wee one. A wee one. A wee one. USB night lights. Yes. Okay, so this one is RV specific. <laughs> you just said that this wasn't RV specific. It's thing. not all RV okay. specific. <laughs> so this is a thing. These were really, really cheap. So this is a, it's just, it's a USB plug and an LED light. Okay. Yeah. Can we use those on the cruise too? Um, yeah. I mean, if we're not using that USB port for charging. I'm trying to see oh. if there's a... So I will... Uh, let's put in some footage here of me plugging one of these in. Um, I don't know how bright they are, but the reason that I think these would be good for RVers is because a lot of times now, especially newer rigs, like I think like 2018, 2019 and newer, a lot of the outlets, it's two outlets and two USB inside yeah. of it, right? So if you just wanted a little extra light in a room at night, you could just pop one of these guys in. And I think it was 10 for like... Two or three dollars. Okay. Like it really wasn't that much. So, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious to plug oh, one of those. Out. I wonder how those would work in the kids' bunks because they have that like bright, crazy light. Yeah. That might be nicer. Yeah. To have. I was I was thinking bunks and bathrooms, oh. because remember the bathroom in the trailer, like the 
the motion sensing overhead light was really bright. Yes. But if we had had one of these just like plugged into so you the outlet, in the bathroom? there might have been. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's what I was thinking with these. So we will see. Uh, we're gonna have to wait until it's nighttime. It's actually morning right now. Uh, but we'll wait until nighttime. We'll plug a few of these in and see what it looks like. I'm yeah. I'm curious. If you have ideas of where you would use these, yeah. can you tell me down in the comments? Because I I I need to know where else I should use. Yeah. These. I mean, you could use these in like cars. Okay. Like kids wanted just oh, a little light yeah, in the yeah. back if it was you were driving. That's a good right? idea. Yeah, car storage bays maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm I'm assuming. So USB. And all I'm this? assuming you just plug it in and it turns on. There's no on off switches. There's no nothing. We need to twists try it turns. also like with like a wall wart. Yeah. If you don't have a USB plug somewhere yeah. where you have. Yeah. Extra ones of those. Hmm. Yeah, we could do okay. That. Yeah, I mean, there's no plugs. No, there is no. not plugs here. That's why I was looking there. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so we will try these uh, later, and you've already seen the footage. So, cool. What's next? Um, here you go. Velcro I cable ties. Are. Yes, these are one of my all-time favorite things. Uh, it's lots of them. Yeah, it's a lot of them, and I think it was like a dollar or two. No. Oh, like okay. I mean, that's why you order stuff from them, right? Yes. I'm you just play with them. yeah. There, it's uh, what fifty. It's a lot. Yeah, there are fifty in here. There's five stacks of ten. And it's just a little Velcro. I'm going to do it with the the scissors here. It's just a little Velcro strap, and you run it through like this, and you cinch it down, right? This and you leave that. it like you leave it on the cord. Yeah. You wrap the cord up, and then it goes around, and it sticks to itself, and it holds the cord together. And you can, like, daisy chain them. Yeah, I've done that before. I use these for cable management all over the place. I've got, um, I've got a colorful set of these that I got at Walmart. Uh, these were way cheaper. The box at Walmart was, like, 10 or 12 bucks. And it was for, like, make it 20 really dollars. big. Yeah, so these are cool. They're Velcro. Um, yeah, so they're basically, like, reusable zip ties, but they're more flexible. And they're not scratchy Velcro, either. It's no. just, like, smooth, smooth-ish yep. little teeth yep. that are grabbing onto yep. this. And I'm going to leave Almost these... Almost like felt. I'm going to leave these here, because I guarantee you something in here has a cord. And I will... <laughs> demonstrate. I will demonstrate it on a cord. So we'll get this yeah, stuff out of the way. Put this back nice. I yep. Just play with this. Yeah, I, I love right. these. I love these. And they're super cheap. What's what is this? this? Uh, oh. Okay, so I did order some camera stuff because a lot of us do take footage and photos of our travels. Mm -hmm. um, so, and not just for YouTube, like a lot of people do video footage for relatives back home. Yeah. And, you know, like I, we talk to a lot of people that ask for recommendations for uh, like video cameras and video equipment. And um, it's not <laughs> because, not because they want to do a YouTube video. It's because they want to show their grandparents back home or, you know assure their parents that their kids aren't living in squalor or yes. whatever. <laughs> so I decided to grab a couple things from Timu that are uh, camera gear. Okay. This one appears to be a... Tripod? A push button. A tiny push. tripod? Sure you there do. There we go. Okay. So it's just like a little lock. Okay. So it's just a little tripod that locks in place. And then it has, you know, the, the little two-prong weird GoPro. It's the GoPro connector on the top here with a set screw. There we go. Yeah. And then, so it locks, okay, it doesn't lock down, but it doesn't move. That's actually pretty nice. Okay. And it slides and it locks closed. I like that it locks closed actually, because some of them like, while you're them. holding them or whether you're vlogging or shooting the kids or whatever, um, these panels move really easily mm -hmm. on other ones. Mm -hmm. I like that these lock, it's a little harder to open, but once it is, yeah, I, I like that. Because I've had these flop open and then you get noise through the microphone. Yeah, it seems a lot lighter than the one it's that you light. used, yeah. too. Yeah. So light light is good and bad. Yep. Um, I have one that I really, really like, that metal one, mm -hmm. because it was a little bit heavier, so it helps you stabilize your hand. But it's heavy. It's really exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to hold. I know, first world problems, right? <laughs> it's really exhausting to hold a lot of weight with an extended arm. Like, there's a, there's a reason that that is way that a way that you yeah. work out because it is very exhausting so this is nice i like this okay. i i would absolutely recommend this this is a nice little piece of gear cool yeah cool we'll leave that there another tiny one another tiny one. Oh, this is the uh zip tie organizer i'm glad you know what all these things are <laughs> i would not have known that just looking i should have been like hey aaron what's this um, got nothing <laughs> it's a zucchini slicer yep uh yeah, so I'm, I don't have any zip ties here in front of me, but I will use these cable ties. Let's pretend these are zip ties. So you know how zip ties, the normal way that most people store zip ties is they take one of the zip ties and they zip tie it around the bundle. Yeah. And then as you pull stuff out, you just tighten that zip yeah. tie, right? 
this comes with a little carabiner so you like, can hang it on your bag or whatever. And it just, it has like a spring loaded, like kind of, looks kind of like a cigar cutter. <laughs> so if you have a bundle of zip ties, I'm going to have to try this with actual zip ties because yeah. these are, these are different. kind of square. There we go. So you store them in here and then it should hold them. I don't feel like the spring is very strong. So we might have to try that out. This spring. Yeah, this spring's not very strong. I do have a wild bundle of zip ties outside. A wild bundle. A wild bundle, yeah. So, but the but the spring's not very Yeah, I see that. strong. Like I want sure it to is. fight me. So, not it sure might, if I might recommend be a this return. one. Yeah. 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 Alrighty. Alrighty. This is We can read this. This says gear clip with rotating hook. Still okay. doesn't give me any idea what it is though. Okay. Oh, this is for you. Okay. Although you don't really carry a purse anymore. No. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a, a purse hook. No. Um, they, sort of. They make really pretty ones. They do. For purses. Well, actually, it's more... <laughs> no, I got this for my backpack. Okay, I was so, like, cause you thank know, you? You know, like, when you're walking around the backpack... Because we go to Disney a lot. When we're walking around the backpack, and, like, you take your backpack off because you sit down at a restaurant mm -hmm. or something, you can... This, like... Acts like a carabiner, like normal. Mm -hmm. uh, let me put it back together here. So it acts like just a normal carabiner, sort of, like a funky looking one. Uh, and then you can undo this, and then it turns into one of those, like, you, you hook it up. Well, this table's too thick. But you hook it on to, like, okay. the edge of a table. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like so. Purse hooks do that, yeah. too. I don't know if this hook is big enough, though. Yeah, that, mm, it's not try it out. Does it work on this table? Nope. No. And it's also not grippy. Interesting. Yeah. Perhaps this should be this should does. be like grippy rubber, right? I would think so. Yeah. Huh. I'll go yeah. dry out. See if you can figure out what those are. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure it says what it is. Yep. What is it, honey? It's a quick wire connect kit. It has lever nut connectors in it. And they come in orange, red, and blue. <laughs> but this just looks like orange. I don't see the red and blue ones. Yeah, these are just orange. They're Wagos. Wagos. Wagos, yeah. So these are electrical connectors. Wagos. Um, Wagos is a brand Wait. name. Oh, that's... okay. That's a brand name? Wago is a brand name. Okay. These are not brand Pause name. real quick. Yes. If you know what a Wago is at this point in the video, can you just write down below so I can see how many people actually knew what this is? And am I just silly for not knowing? Just let me know. <laughs> you know what a Wago is. Okay. So you know what a wire nut is, right? I'm sure. You know what a wire nut is? Yeah. Like, like... Remember when you our, put wires together, you twist it together, and they they then she become knows, a working thing. She knows what a wire nut is. Wire nuts are bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. The wire nuts are old. Like they okay. they they serve their time. Okay. Right. This is the now kind of recommended, from my understanding, from our Discord channel, the RV Electrical Discord channel, and Ben and all of the electrical wizards in there. They all swear by Wagos, and Wago, we're starting to see Wagos being used in the RV industry because they are so much better than wire nuts. Basically. Oh, these are weird. They don't lever open. Oh, yeah, they do. I was yeah, going to say, yeah. I, I mean, this is a Wago knockoff. Okay. Um, yeah, I, don't see, I don't see anything in here that would make them not work as well as a Wago. But basically, you strip the ends of two mm -hmm. wires that you want to connect. You put them in there. And then this little lever, the levers snap down and hold it all tight. So it would be able to do what the twisting does. It does what the, the wire nut does. Okay. But this is basically a guaranteed connection because there's a bar inside okay. of it. So... Uh, if you're looking you have for them in different sizes, yeah, this is uh, thirty five. This is seventy five of two, three, and five pin okay. connectors. So these are handy. I don't know when I will need I to use. Say, what them would next. you use that for? For connecting wires. But I, I wanted to I see them. I have never connected a wire in my life, and have never needed this product. <laughs> Again, am I in the minority here? Of um, are you? Are you the target audience for electrical gear? <laughs> Should I be? I don't know. Maybe I mean, should. maybe Let's... I should be doing more electrical work. Okay, next electrical project, <laughs> she's doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what everybody wants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what that little box there is. <clears throat> hey, I get to choose, and oh. I choose the bag. Oh, I didn't top. even see the bag. Oh, this is another piece of... Uh, um, lots of stuff in here. It's another piece of camera gear. Okay, this is very wee. Very wee. I don't know why it's in a static bag, like I'm pulling RAM out of a package. This is a... We'll go back to the tripod thing real quick. This, good thing you open that first. Yeah, right? This is a GoPro to quarter 20 adapter. Oh. You know what that is, right? Yep. Quarter 20 is the standard tripod thread. Right, so that camera uh, right now... That's what I was just going to say, Brad. I know. It was just it was right on the tip of her tongue. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all it is. It's a, it's a GoPro to quarter 20 adapter. Super, super handy. Because I just want you to know I do know things. I know you know okay. things. Just maybe not electrical <laughs> not and things. camera things. <laughs> Didn't um, buy me dresses. Yeah, but uh, okay. yeah, so GoPro to quarter 20, super handy. So you can put that camera on there? So I can put that okay. camera on here or the, the phone, the magnet phone mount thing that okay. I have. Yeah, because gotcha. the GoPro mount really just it's comes just with GoPros. GoPro. And I like this one because GoPro does make a GoPro to quarter 20, but it's big and chunky. Mm, this is, chunky this is the minimum you absolutely need to do that. Conversion, cool. so I actually like that a lot. That's nice. Yeah. Alrighty. Leave that right there. That's another definite recommend. And it's metal too. It feels really nice. A lot of the GoPro connectors are plastic, mm -hmm. and they shatter. Like everyone that has used a GoPro has broken one of those at some point. This one requires assistance. Okay. What is this? I don't know. The there packaging is... did not tell me. I, I'm, I know what the big box is. That's for the Jeep, and I think this one's for the Jeep. This bag is not a toy. Bag? This bag is not a toy. That's what it says. Is there a bag inside of it? I don't know. Oh, there is. <laughs> There's a bag inside of it. This is also for the Jeep. These look like, <laughs> um, like, um... Raptor claws. Raptor talons. Ah. That's what... Are we turning the Jeep into a Yep, raptor? We're, we're doing a Jurassic Park conversion. <laughs> but instead of the doing blue. the beautiful, like, tan and red Jeep, we're going to turn it into blue. That's yeah. it. No. Um, is, this is like plastic. Okay. If I told Hold you... Hold on. I want to be a Velociraptor. Okay. <laughs> if I told you that they went this way, could you figure out what they do? Um, no. Are they eyebrows? No. I don't know, sweetie. These are rain gutter extensions. You know how when it's raining and you oh, open the door? Oh my goodness. It's awful. She knows exactly what I'm awful. talking about. So if you have a Wrangler with a hard top, basically when you open the door of a Wrangler and it's raining outside... All of the rain that's in these gutters pours down the corners of the the front corners of the hardtop. Like right where you get in. Which is where you get into the Jeep. Like the, all of that water goes inside the Jeep, mm -hmm. which is fine. They're meant to get wet. There are drain plugs. It's I don't okay. Smell rainwater. But as you're getting in, it like soaks your legs and like gets all over you. So these, in theory, go up and extend that rain gutter around to the windshield. Oh, so no, all of that rain that. goes down the windshield instead of from this okay. point directly into the Jeep. We'll see how and it goes. Yeah, I don't... This is not the right blue. Um, yeah, that's ours, blue. Ours is blurple. Yeah, we call ours blurple because it looks like this blue in the sun, but as the sun starts going down it and it gets a little darker, purple it gets more purple. So if these don't color match, I will return them. I don't think they do. And it I don't might, think black would look good. It might be enough, though. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll Check try these, out. Try these out later and report do. back. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, these things are hard. I need the scissors. This bag is also not a toy. Did you get any toy bags? I did not get any toy bags. <laughs> oh, there's another bag. There's a bag. Wait, wait. Is bag. this bag a toy? Um, Dang it, it's not. No, Man. not a toy. When will we get to the toy bags? I don't know. Oh my goodness, you ordered a lot of There's stuff. another bag inside of it. What is this? I don't know. Oh, oh. Is it like one of those? It's one of those, yeah. So this is, I don't know why this is like triple bagged. Um, this is <laughs> one of the, uh, we've actually had this in a video before. Mm -hmm. Let's screw this on here. This it's is a smaller. magnet. It is, yeah, it's the smaller, which smaller. actually smaller might be nice. Um, mm -hmm. I got it white for the washer. Uh, but basically, this is a magnet on this mm -hmm. end, and then this whole thing is very bendy. You can it's kind of put it in whatever shape you want. Too, yeah. yeah, it's very resistant. Like, it stays where you put it. It's made for propping open washing machine doors. Oh, yeah, the front, front load washers. Yeah, so this just snaps onto, like, via magnet to the body of the washer, and then you use this to keep the door from closing mm -hmm. so it can dry out and not get all funky Gross. and moldy. We use it for our dishwasher. Because the, the same faster. thing happens. Yeah, so after the cycle's done and it does the heat dry, mm -hmm. I'll prop it open with the black one that we have, and that will help, help everything air dry and it keeps it from getting funky. Yep. And yeah, Not so RV specific, is. but no. used in an RV. Yeah, uh, and I, the, we will use these in wherever we live. Next time we're in a house and we have a washer, I will yep. absolutely have one of these. This is a 100% recommend. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, what does that say? Um, industrial... Endoscope. Endoscope. Good job. Okay. The dog is whining now. This is absolutely a toy. A toy? This is a toy. Kind of toy box. Yay. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if it has power. Endoscope. Though. I'm a little scared about what your plans are for this. Let's see if it's charged. So this is an endoscope. This is a very big one, uh, but it's kind of. This was the best reviewed one on Timo. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> 
That's not the plug. That's Bums. not the plug. Oh, here we go. No, hold no, on, hold no. on, hold on. Okay, so what this is is uh, we'll go over here. Okay. Uh, we'll show this. No, 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 you stay there. So it's a camera, like a big wiggly camera on the other end, right? So there's Ben. Side. Let me fix him. <laughs> so anyway, it's got a big long cable here. Here, you can take this into the other room and play with it with Brooke. Okay. Go. Yeah, go. go. Go play with that. Go. It doesn't take pictures. It just does it a just camera. It just does a camera. So anyway, to finish the Bounder story, we had a vacuum flush toilet that was always acting up. And all of the gear for the vacuum flush was in this really tight compartment yeah. outside above the propane tank. And I had to use an endoscope to look on the back side of the thing to pull model numbers and to access like wiring. You already have an endoscope? I do, but that one plugs into my phone, oh, and that's really annoying. Okay. Like anything, I don't like things using my phone. To yeah, do I know other you things. don't. Yeah. So, so I got that one because it has the built-in screen, and like a really long camera. So, okay. it works. Uh, so we will report back. I think the reporting back is going to be maybe in shorts or in comments. Yeah. Yeah. So, right now, good endoscope. The picture looked okay. It's a tiny little camera on the end of a snake. Like, you're really, you're using it to look into tight spots. This is really soft. You're just going to play with that? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hey, you are not the She's box busy. boy. Okay. Do you know what that is? Right, I can't even see it. It's for the Jeep. Oh, it's not a toy bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is yeah. for my good friend yep. who also has a Jeep. It goes into the... Um, the handlebar on in the front in front of the passenger, yep. it goes right there and it'll hold all your junk. Yep. We already have one in our Jeep. We're going to give this one to friends of ours that just got a Jeep. Yes. Yep. Super, super, super handy. So. Like, you put your phone, like we both, when we're riding passenger, we'll put our phones in it. She puts her sunglasses. Uh, you've got some of your real estate business cards. Yeah. Unfortunately, it also is a place that, you know, trash goes. But it's a great use of that. Yeah, handle. not a lot of trash and you can, can get there. So. And you can still use the handle, too. Yes. Like, you can still hold on to yeah. where the handle is. Everyone that has a Wrangler should have one of those. Yes, I agree. Yep. Oh, this is a big box. No. Nope, that doesn't say anything on it. Is there a toy bag in here? No, there's little tiny poppers. There's bubble wrap, too. All righty. That's that. More tool stuff. Um... Okay, I'm gonna yes. guess. Yes, I love her guesses. <laughs> can it? Do you? Oh, you can mount this because uh -huh. it has screw holes. Yep. Can you then like put these in place and use these to like hold tools? Hold what tools? Uh, I'm gonna hold one up here so. Uh, so you guys can see what she's looking at here. So okay, let me ask this: Are there tools that have a square thing? in the middle of them that you could just put them on are they like wrenches and stuff close or... what's the cousin to a wrench mm -hmm. <laughs> cousin to a wrench but basically yeah they do the same thing but in a different way what's to start with uh s what do you wear on your feet shoes oh, the other thing you wear on your feet sandals what goes under shoes? Flip flops. What do you put on before you put on shoes? Soles. No, socks. 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 <laughs> oh, sockets. Sockets. But, <laughs> but they're like socket wrenches, aren't they? Are you, are you just sockets, being pedantic with no, no, me? No, the socket wrench is what you put the socket on. This holds all the sockets. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, I got yeah, you now. Yeah. These, are, these are socket organizers. Okay. I have ones very, very similar to this already, but... The thing that I don't like about the ones I have is they don't rotate. Okay. Like, they're fixed sideways. And depending on how your sockets have the labeling on them, if you snap them in, you can't always read what oh, size okay. the socket is. So with this, you can just spin the socket, and you can see what, what size it is before you pop it off of the rack. Okay. Yeah, so these are going to replace a set that I already have that I am not 100% happy with. You really tried to get me to socket from sock? I mean, that's four out of the six letters. <laughs> <gasps> this is okay. So this is a Sandalatron holder. <laughs> Sandalatron. <laughs> okay. Oh my lord. 
Okay. Is oh, this I the love last this. box? I love this, this guessing a, game. Is this a box with more things in it? So, I am really intelligent. I just need people to know that. So this is another Jeep thing. Okay. Uh, this one... You know what this is. Yeah, I, I know what this is. I don't know if this just, is the top. Based on the way. size, I know what it is. Uh, there are two other things on the table over here that came in a separate package, which was also fun to get from the bakery. Yeah, from the bakery. Yeah. It's, we have a P.O. box. Like, it just shouldn't be hard to get to the I, post office, but... Mm. Not toy bags. Jeep. This goes in the back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Before it goes up over the wheel well. Yeah, kind of where... Um, so if you open the rear... Like the um, roll bar goes down here. So it's storage compartments that uh, we'll go outside and put these in real quick. Uh, okay. But it's storage compartments that go up in these corner areas. Because there's it's a good space that you can like drop stuff in. Like our ducks are on this side. and, and Yeah, sunscreen. And we keep wipes and paper towels and stuff in the back. So um, so we'll go outside and pop these in in just a second before we end this video. Alrighty, what else do you have? Uh, so other things that came in separate packages. This is a power bank and it was dead on arrival. Oh. Uh, like we already opened this and tried it. It does not turn on at all. It does not charge. It does not charge devices. Um, so this is that. going to be returned. So we will see how the return process goes and we will leave a comment down below after that's done. Uh, I will pin comments. All of our like feedback stuff I will do in one comment and pin it so you guys don't have to hunt for it. Uh, so this is going to be returned. And the other thing that came in a separate box is because it's so large. It is a collapsible laundry basket. Mm -hmm. Remember this? Yes, and I this do. actually fits perfectly, because of how skinny it is, in between our washer and dryer. Yes. It's not big. Like, and you, no. you open it, and then the bottom snaps down like that. So it's not huge, but the fact that it fits where it fits makes it useful. Okay. Right. I think, um, I don't know that I would use it as a laundry basket, but okay. I think I could use it as, like taking pool stuff or beach okay. stuff okay. but i like that it has a place that it fits to be stored yeah um with easy retrieval but yeah. um, homes for things is very important in rvs yes i think if if, with, if this was just you and i that yeah. would be an easy laundry basket for two people yeah it's been so long since there was just two of us having laundry that i don't even remember what that's like <laughs> but i think that the um, before times in the before times <laughs> Not the five people's laundry yeah. where two of the children wear three outfits a day. It's yeah. fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, so I really, I, I like that it that it fits in between the washer and dryer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so to address some of the other comments, um, the big the big one that we heard from a few people, I, didn't, I don't know if it was like anecdotal or if it had actually happened to the people that left the comments, mm -hmm. was about issues with ordering, like having their card stolen or whatever. As far as I can tell, and I'm pretty well versed in online stuff and merchant processing mm -hmm. and all that, um, their site is as secure as I can tell. Like, yeah. It has all the proper certificates. All of the ordering stuff that they use is through valid vendors and legit vendors. Right. Um, I use PayPal because PayPal is very good about handling disputes. Right. So if you see things that you want but you're worried about ordering from them, just use something like party. PayPal. Yeah. And PayPal is very good about, like, I didn't receive the products or whatever. It's also not tied directly to your bank, so no right. one can really like siphon money out of it. Uh, so I, in my opinion, have not seen any security issues with their site. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know how the return process is going to go. We're going to send this back uh, and maybe a couple of things. But and I'll, another thing about Timu too is the stuff is so cheap, it's not worth the hassle of sending it back. Like this was like 20 or 25. Yeah. So I'm going to send, send that this back. back. Yeah. But this was probably like 50 cents or a dollar. Yeah. Is it worth the ha I'm just, yeah. yeah. I got a, I got a free tiny carabiner out of it. There you go. <laughs> so, so we'll do the return process for this. We'll leave it in a pinned comment mm -hmm. uh, after a couple days down below. Um, what else? What were some of the other comments? It was it was shipping was the big one. Yeah, there were um, the quality of the stuff. Yeah. Like uh, we're we're being very honest. Like this was dead on arrival. This is probably not, not going to do it. This is probably not big enough to hook onto most tables. Yeah, I mean, and um, a lot of the stuff yeah. looks like things that you could get like at Ollie's Bargain Store or at like Five uh, Below, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Yeah, this is very stuff like, like that. This is so, very yes. You hit the nail on the head with that. The tool stuff is very Harbor Freight equivalent. So I think that's it for yeah. That's everything. Yeah, we're gonna go outside and drop these in the Jeep real quick and uh, show you how those work. Yep. 
and we will show you how this works because mm -hmm. uh, these are kind of abstract just looking at them like yeah. this. So uh, we'll see you inside just a sec. These are really blue. Yeah, they are very blue. So these are the gutters. Oh, that's not even close. <laughs> okay, well, we let's can... show where they go. Do they fit? I don't know. Keep that up. Oh, oh do they, they go, go under? under. Yeah. They go oh, under. they're, they're supposed so to sit like that. not the right color. Yeah. I wonder if we could find like um, nail polish or something that matches the yeah, purple. No. Yeah, so those get glued on there. And we have the sky one touch top, so we would never take this off. I don't know if you have like the T top, it wouldn't work. Uh, but mm. yeah, so that's not going to work. Very messy Jeep. Don't look too close. Yeah, don't look too close. So the grab handle thing, we're going to show the one we already have installed. Yeah. So it's just here. Stuff. It just goes right in here. Yeah, we're not going to pull it out, but this is a handle and it's a gap behind it. Yep. So it just goes right there and it gives you a little extra yeah. little compartment. So that just sits right in yep. there. So that is the number one thing you should get for your Jeep. Yes. Super, super Definitely. handy. Definitely. All right, we have a very, very beautiful surprise guest. <laughs> Who is it, honey? It's Brooke. It's Brookie. <laughs> All right, Brookie, these are storage compartments that go back here. So this one goes there. You want to see if it, it just kind of shove it up in there? See, see if goes. it fits? You look very confused. I'll show you this one and you can do the other side. Come on. It's hard to do with one hand. Yeah, and it just sits there like that. And then, you know, everybody carries around wipes and toilet paper, right? So the wipes can now, like, have a place to sit. Without rolling around. And Aaron has an extra hat, right? I can just go there, sit there. You can put little tools and stuff. So go ahead and do that one, because we have ducks on this side. Yep. Two bags of ducks, in fact. Big one. Alrighty. So go ahead and slide that around. Yeah. Yeah. So much easier on this much side. Much easier, yeah. And it looks like if you don't have the hard top, there is a hole. Oh, my arm's in the way. There is a hole uh, that you can attach it so it doesn't move around. But I don't, I think it's fine the way it's in there. Go ahead and yep. see if the ducks fit. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> yep, that'll work. Yay. Good job, Brookie. Give me five. So that's it. That's our weird uh, Timu random Just box of stuff. stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye out for the pinned comment down mm -hmm. below. It'll, it'll be attached a couple days after this video goes live. We're going to do the return for mm -hmm. that power brick and leave some comments about like the fit and finish and the usefulness of some of the other stuff. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. So everybody say bye. Bye. bye.